Residents north of Brisbane have been told to leave their homes as wet and wild weather lashes Queensland. Hundreds of millimetres of rain has been dumped across the southeast, causing flash flooding on the Gold and Sunshine coasts as well as in Brisbane. Tonight, an evacuation centre has been set up for Burpengary residents after fears low-lying properties could be swamped in the deluge. It looks more like a Melbourne city scene, but this is Brisbane. Commuters tackled obstacle course conditions on their way to work. Some had a nasty surprise waiting on their way home. As localised flooding took many by surprise, authorities were once again frustrated by those flouting warnings not to drive across swollen creeks and flooded roads. In this dramatic rescue in Brisbane, the car's occupants had to climb onto their roof as they waited anxiously for help. Across the southeast, spectators gathered to watch creeks turn into rivers, birds the only ones enjoying the soggy conditions. Rain clouds rumbled ominously along the Queensland coast. In central parts, some said overnight storms were cyclonic. It was uh, the, the heaviest rainfall I've seen here in 32 years, and we had 193 millimetres in about four hours, and in the middle of that we had uh, 25 millimetres in about 10 minutes. Some of the heaviest falls have been in the Gold Coast hinterland, where minor flooding closed roads and put the bowls club out of action. Probably 130 mil now we've had this, since it started. Across the border, northern New South Wales copped a battering too, with the Bellinger River breaking its banks. It's a, going to be a very big flood, biggest we've seen in years, I think. But for Queenslanders worried about a repeat of last year's Summer of Sorrow, the Weather Bureau says the state's better placed this time to handle the downpour. Unlike last year when uh, the spring season had quite a lot of rain and it was all building up to the wet season, this year the spring season didn't get as much rain. But it's not ruling out the potential for major flooding in coastal parts. The Somerset and Wyvernhoe dams still have their floodgates closed, but a flood operations centre has been activated. SEQ Water have been um, very diligent in the way that they've um, modified their, uh, their manual, uh, monitoring, working with the Bureau of Meteorology, keeping a very close eye on the rainfall. There might be a bit of respite on Thursday, Friday when the trough weakens a bit and moves inland, but it comes back again towards uh, the weekend. Forecasters warn some areas could have a whopping 400 millimetres of rain over the next six days. Kieran McKechnie, ABC News, Brisbane.